So, great to see you. How special, how exciting has this week been? Yeah, it's been enormous. Um, you know, it's been a long week. Uh, we've had obviously a lot of support and um, yeah, it's been very overwhelming and emotional and it's very grateful to uh, you know, be in the position we are to, I guess, bring Samoa up as a small island nation and um, to put Samoa um, you know, at the top, you know, along with Australia and New Zealand and to be in this World Cup final, is, uh, it's massive for our people, so yeah. And are you able to think about those things you just mentioned? Because ultimately, you've got to concentrate on winning a rugby game. And yep. you know, that, that, that's the issue straight ahead of you. But the bigger picture, like you've outlined, is, is so huge. Yeah, um, it's, it's been massive, you know. Obviously, preparing for a World Cup final in itself is big, but um, just the support and the love that we have had it's, it is overwhelming, but it's it's um, you know it's getting us through, and you know we've got a lot of we've got a lot of beaten boys and um, a lot of injuries, but you know their their passion is um, you know they're giving it to us. So um, yeah, it's it's crazy, man. I, I can't express how big this is for us. It's been a real journey for you, hasn't it? Since yes. since day one, yeah, incredible journey. Can you believe what you've achieved so far? Oh, yeah, it actually can't. It's um, I guess from that first defeat. To, to where we are now, um, we always knew that, and we believed that, um, you know, we could get here and to actually be here now, and I guess, you know, take a, you know, uh, a step back and just to see how far we've come. It's, uh, it's crazy, you know. Uh, it's everything we talked about and everything, you know, players such as, you know, uh, Hulo and Papali'i and Suli'i, uh, Lua and all that. It's you know what they all set out to do is you know bring some more up and you know we've done that as a collective and um, yeah we're here now so you know let's roll. And what were the hours like after you beat England and broke so many hearts yeah. <laughs> in England? What what was that like? Um, what was it like? It was kind of a relief um, just because we knew we could and after you know so much. Um, talk from the media about what happened in that first game you know there was comments about us you know having to we should go home and and stuff like that and you know to get that win against England was kind of like a here we are you know we announced ourselves on the on the big stage and um, yeah you know afterwards it was it was pretty big we had a couple of drinks together nothing too big you know we obviously had a big um, assignment this week but um, we had fun so yeah it was good. So one more, how do you go about beating the best team around? Yeah, um, it's going to be tough. You know, they're obviously a team of champions and um, yeah, they're the, they're the uh, defending champions for a reason and you know, they've got the best players in the world and um, yeah, as I said, it'll be tough, but we're all excited and I guess we're you know, very passionate and um, we just want to go out there and you know, there's no pressure on us. We want to put our little nation on our back and um, you know, give it our all. That's what we will do. And as a final thought, have you allowed yourself to think what it's going to feel like walking out under the lights at such a famous stadium? Yeah, um, I, we were at Emirates you know, last week and that was massive. And we've heard that you know, um, Old Trafford is even bigger. So um, we've got captains on there tomorrow, so that will help. Um, but yeah, I can't wait. You know, so obviously some of the best soccer players in the world have, have been on there and um, yeah, it's crazy to even think that yeah, we're going to be running out there and yeah, I just can't wait, can't wait to get out there. So, well, good luck. Thanks, mate. Great to speak to you. Appreciate it.